Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today we're going to look at how to fix the no 4G LTE signal on the Galaxy S10. So for example, if your device supports the 4G or the LTE um, data speeds, and of course you're connected to your network, but for some strange reason you're not no longer able to connect to the 4G or LTE speeds, that could be the um, indication that there is an underlying problem. All right? so the first thing you want to do, guys, is the one that I recommend the most. So you're going to go to Settings. Once you're in settings, make sure at the top of the screen, go to connections. Once you're in connections, go down to mobile networks. Once you're in mobile networks right here, look for network mode. And of course, you'll see all of these options. If you set it to 2G only or if yours is on 2G only, it means that you will get no higher than 2G data speeds. If it's 3G, no higher than 3G data speeds. And if it's between these two, it will keep switching based on um, so on, based on um, availability. However, to get the 4G speeds, make sure that it's set to the top one here that says um, LTE, 3G or 2G speeds. So it's the highest option. And of course, if yours is not set to the highest option, that is most definitely the reason why you're unable to connect to um, LTE. All right. Next, let's make sure that you have good coverage wherever you are for you to be getting that. So if you're in an area where you're sure you're supposed to get the um, signal, you should be good. All right. Number two you're going to reboot your phone. Sometimes if your phone is on for long, you can have uh, minor issues that range from almost anything. So I always recommend if you're having any issues at all, one of the first things you should try is to try to reboot your phone. Most people don't turn off their phones. And of course, they start to get software errors and they're surprised whenever they restart that it fixes the problem. So just go ahead and restart. Restarting should fix the problem. Next, make sure it's not a network issue. So uh, one of the quickest ways to um, check, you could call your network to see if you have any um, issues. But more reliably, you can actually, since you're on the ground, get a friend that's on the same network to see if they are getting um, 4G LTE speeds. And if they are getting 4G LTE speeds, it means that it's not the network. And of course, it could be your device, so you can continue on. Um, next thing, make sure you remove your SIM card. So let's go ahead and remove the SIM card. Make sure it's not bent. Make sure it's not damaged or torn in any way. And of course, once you do that and reseat it sometime by placing it back in, that is enough in some cases to fix it. You can also wipe off the contacts or the metallic contacts on the SIM itself before placing it back in. And that too should be able to fix the problem by removing the SIM card. Next, you're going to reset network settings. You should know this by now, so just simply go down to um, general management, reset. And of course, we're going to reset network settings. Do not worry, you'll not lose any data. So just reset network settings as the other option. Um, next, you can clear the cache partition. I'll have a link up here to a video showing you to clear the cache partition. Next, you can also update your phone. So they'll go to settings, scroll on from the top to general management down here. And of course, sorry. So you'll scroll down from the top and then go to software update, download and install to check. And of course, if there's an update, your device will update. Um, Next, we can also check to see if um, it could be caused by an app. Um, usually, you'll check the last two to three apps, uninstall them, and see if the problem is fixed. If not, you can always go back and... All right, so you just um, uninstall the last two to three apps. Usually, it's one of those. And of course, you can always install them back again. Um, if you find it's one particular app or you're narrowed down to one particular app, all it's, you can um, find an alternative that's more stable that won't trigger the problem in your device. Um, also... You can go to settings and of course this time you're going to go down to general management then you go to reset and once under reset guys you're going to look for the option that here is that says factory and data reset but be sure to back up your device before as this will erase all the data on your phone so just go ahead and tap follow the instructions and erase and last but not least if you are still having um, issues after all the above then take your device in for repair um, it could be at a um, store or if your device is on a warranty, take it back to Samsung. They'll look at and deal with fixing your device. And doing all of that should be able to fix the problem with your um, Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 e or S10 Plus. And of course, that should deal with the 4G LTE problem. All right, guys, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips as usual. Saying goodbye until next time. Bye.